Good morning. Please stand for the prayer, the pledge, and the Holy Cross man. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O oh Jesus, the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day. For all the intentions of your sacred heart, in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, for the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, and the reunion of all Christians, and in particular, for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us. Father Moreau, pray for us. St. Andre, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. And now for the pledge. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Holy Cross man. The Holy Cross man is a fine gentleman who lives by faith. Devoted to his soul's welfare, he reflects often on God. His daily actions are sanctified by prayer, the practice of virtue, and manly piety. Since sanctity is his goal, he has deep devotion to our Lord, to our Lady, and to St. Joseph, patron of the school. The Holy Cross man is studious. He regards learning as a duty, intellectual perfection as an honor. He knows that his school is his training ground where he small himself into useful man. The Holy Cross man is loyal to God and country. Devotion to his school and his teachers is demonstrated by his cooperation, zeal, and spirit. He is a friend of all because he is a member of the mystical body of Christ. In a word, he is a man of faith and honesty, of strength and character and self-mastery, of respect for the Christian family and lawful authority, of leadership in the pursuit of the true, the good, and the beautiful. That is the Holy Cross man. from Mount Vernon, uh, George Washington's house. Uh, we're in DC all week. Yeah, we're in DC all week, guys. You can follow us at Big Austin Instagram account. <laughs> so hit them up and you'll see some pictures. Go Tigers. We're on Mount Vernon and we're having a great time. It's right there, it's all Georgie's house. Look right there. Tigers, we're at Mount Vernon with uh, Kyle Martin and uh, Preston Guire. So boys, like, what are we doing in DC? Well, how are we, how are we so, doing? Inspiration we've taken upon ourselves to go visit the historical aspects of Washington. Right now, we're visiting Mount Vernon, one of the most collective and inspirational uh, houses in the world. Right here behind me. You see that this is Washington's house, famously known as the Washington. He's the first president of the United States of America. He's got a pretty sick crib. But yeah, we'll be here all week. Uh, I'll be sending some daily updates. Uh, so, yeah, y'all have a nice week at school, boys. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Crimson. So, we walked past a little bread thing at Mount Vernon, and I was like, you know, they sell bread, so let's go get some bread. Uh, so, I just spent $10 on a loaf of bread. And, uh, you know, it was a good investment, so let's try it out. <laughs> Give it to him. Bread review. I feel very patriotic. Sorry, Renzo. This is George Washington's Mount Vernon bread. Wow. We're going to try it. This is exquisite. Yep. I am Renzo, and I approve this message. It's pretty fresh, but. Ari's gonna come review it with me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we need Ari's approval. We need another big man to approval. It's a great bread. It is. It's a great bread. Don't get me wrong. Great investment by Austin. Yeah. Should have been sold. But does this mean I'm like George Huffington? You know, after eating a piece of this bread, I think I memorized the entire Constitution, the entire Declaration of Independence, and every law the United States has made. So, Mount Vernon bread, 8 out of 10. Come try it out, boys. You ready? Yeah. Good morning, Holy Cross. 
today is Monday. Monday, March. Monday. Woo! 11. 14. No. 15. 14. Oh, yeah, 14. 14. Monday. Monday, March 14th. Attention students, Queen Week is coming up. Queen Week will be the spirit week for our baseball season. The week that will be filled with games, activities, music, and a pep rally to cap off the week. That Saturday, the baseball team will take on Jesuit Catholic High. The week is from March 21st to the 25th. Student Council elections will be held this the week of March 21st through 25th. If you're interested in running there, we'll be a meeting next week in Coach Sharp's room. See Mr. Ferry for more information. Listen to the announcements for updates. That's the same week as Cleat Week. Cleat so Week. make sure you stay on top of it. And student council elections. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, attention juniors, your prom is March 26th at the Pearl Room. If you have any questions, see Coach Westfall. Seniors, your prom is on April 8th. You go to prom, me. Thanks, Paul. Attention juniors and seniors. Holy Cross is once again proud to have partnered to offer you the best deal in town for tuxedos for prom. Well, I cut quite the dashing yet hygienic figure, don't I? <laughs> Look like the Flash about to get married. The company will be here Monday, March 14th from 12.45 to 1.30 p.m. to fit any junior or senior for a tuxedo or prom. <laughs> Why rent when you can own for the same price? No money is required to fit to get fitted. You also get free alterations the tuxedos for life. Also come with a lifetime alteration. Free alterations for life. If you are a senior, like this guy, and bought one from them from them last year. I did that. You did that? I did that. Well, why don't you check to see if it needs to be altered? Yeah. Altered. For free. You understand that game, ladies? <laughs> Next Thursday is St. Patrick's Day. Students will be allowed to wear any appropriate green shirt, sweatshirt, or green socks with their regulation school pants belt and shoes like that that and that <laughs> thanks for watching guys we hope you have a great monday have anything to say charlie it's monday <laughs> it's monday have a <laughs> great monday. day <laughs>